All right, guys, we got to talk about the markets. Bitcoin today lost the most points today ever since that whole FTX debacle. Percentage wise, I don't think it was the second most, but points wise, it was the second most. And there's a couple of reasons for this happening. Now, in not in order of importance, um, too much leverage, Ethereum driving the market south because the market decided the Ethereum ETF is not actually being accepted, uh, and negative BTC ETF outflows. Now, there's another one that the Solana shitcoin media went too far, but realistically, I think that really only affects Solana. It doesn't really affect the, ne uh, the rest of the market. I actually think the negative BTC ETF inflows are the biggest part. Now, yesterday, we know we had a record day with $643 million of uh, grayscale ETF outflows, and that resulted in a net outflow of about $150 million because BlackRock and Fidelity could not make up the difference. Well, today on provisional data, we've had a net outflow of 326 million from spot ETFs. That means it does look like Grayscale has had even more outflows than yesterday. What is causing this? I'm not really sure, but Grayscale CEO has actually said he's gonna start lowering the, um, I guess lowering his fees because Grayscale's fees are significantly bigger than BlackRock and Fidelity, and a lot of those are actually outflowing to BlackRock and Fidelity. He said originally he wasn't gonna change the fees, bad idea, but now he's actually going to change the fees. Better idea, but a little too late, a little too, uh, a little too late. Grayscale's entire fund is about 26 billion. Ever since they began, they've already outflowed 12 billion. So the grayscale outflows aren't enough to actually bring down the price on a long level. Remember, we're still way, way up um, from when the ETF released. The ETF released at $46,000. We're at $62,000 right now. And grayscale obviously isn't going to keep bleeding forever. Also, this could be part of that Genesis sell or most of that Genesis sell because that was $1.3, $1.4 billion of pure outflow. And Genesis says we're going to pick the best times to sell and we're going to sell over time. And they could actually be really selling those things the last couple of days. These, they say uh, they see Bitcoin has um, gone up significantly from where they where it was a few weeks ago and maybe they saw that it was time to cash out right now if that's the case that's going to stop very soon because uh, um there was like 643 million yesterday maybe like 400 million of that was grayscale and even bigger today which, which means they probably offloaded 1 billion out of the 1.3 billion and that outflow will stop soon there's obviously like the fear with the um, Jerome Powell speech tomorrow, but I think that plays a smaller factor than the actual physical outflows from the Grayscale um, ETF stuff. So hopefully that does stop soon and it is actually part of the Genesis outflow. Remember, Grayscale outflows uh, went like very, very low last week and it suddenly pumped up this, this suddenly went like super this week. And that generally means that there's another outside factor like Genesis or someone else selling out. And um, since Genesis said they were gonna sell out over time and pick the best spots to sell, I have a creeping suspicion that it is that Genesis stuff. Remember $1.4 billion um, of pure outflows, they probably used about 1 billion of it the last two days. And we might have another day or two if they decide to sell right now and then it will be over. Usually these grayscale outflows don't last, these massive grayscale outflows don't last more than a couple of days. So hopefully um, that stops soon. The Solana shitcoin stuff, um, I think it's finally turning on Solana right now. And that's mainly because Bitcoin's going down. I don't think it would be turning on Solana if Bitcoin wasn't going down. And I think it'll actually kick back up once Bitcoin heads back up in uh, price. In terms of too much leverage, yes, there was like something like 600 million uh, basically like liquidated. And that drives the price down doubly as far. So yes, leverage is actually killing the market right now, but that works both ways. And um, that actually does work both ways. And when we go back up, we're gonna start liquidating a lot of longs and we're gonna go up really, really fast. In terms of Ethereum driving the market to the south, that probably has a small effect, but that should only really affect ERC-20. Yes, there have been reports by Bloomberg and others that the ETF is probably not passing, and they're probably right about the ETF not passing because it does not look like the SEC has put down the groundwork to allow an Ethereum ETF passing. We'll figure it out in May, and ETF, e, uh, Ethereum might actually drop against BTC in May as that uh, 
time Mirai's. Now, why I think that we'll bounce back in a V shape really, really fast. Also, like the Denkin upgrade for Ethereum didn't actually solve the layer one fees because it's never supposed to, and people are probably kind of upset by that because it's still expensive to use Ethereum, and people are getting confused when they have to bridge and spend a lot of money bridging. Now, about why we're going to recover in a V shape recovery, on the way down, there are like $8 billion worth of like a leverage, basically between now and uh, $75,000. So we're gonna see a huge, huge surge in liquidations once the prices start going up. There are a lot of people have been waiting to bet bear for a long time and they think we're probably gonna, they, there's a lot of people that think we're gonna go down to like 50,000 or less, which I highly doubt we're going to go down that much. And um, yeah, once tomorrow is over, I believe, or maybe Thursday, I think we'll start going up and those will liquidate very, very quickly, bringing us back up to 80K uh, by having. Now, that's just one scenario. We could end up around 60K for having, but we could ease, I think we're much more likely to end up like 80K at the having more than 50K at the having, by my opinion. Because like we've liquidated a lot of longs, but there's so much shorts building and whales love to liquidate mice. And um, yeah, the, like the billions of dollars in shorts that are piling up from here to 75K, that is very, very juicy to liquidate. Too much leverage does work both ways and you're stacking way too much the other way now. And plus the fact that like there is still BlackRock and Fidelity buying um, regardless of what the price is right now. I mean, they're still buying hundreds of millions a day. They just can't cover grayscale at its highest points of dump. So like there's gonna be a downtrend for a couple of days, but once grayscale, I think, stops selling so much and the provisional data is like they sold a lot in the last two days. And if they're like done with like, you no, know, the Genesis dumping or other things dumping, then, you know, like they're not gonna sell as much. They're gonna go back to their regular 100 million maybe outflows per day and that'll be e easily eaten up by uh, BlackRock and Fidelity, and that will continue to uh, start to go up. And as we go up, we will liquidate those shorts, annihilate the short sellers, and basically celebrate and dance over their carcasses. That's what's going to happen. Um, and like I said, I don't think the Ethereum thing really affects the rest of the market besides Ethereum. Yeah, the Solana thing's kind of weird, but I'm sure all those crap coins will go up once the market goes up as well. So I'm really, I'm really looking forward to what will happen the next day. I think like the Jerome Powell speech will probably be the bottom of the market. I don't think Grayscale is going to like bleed out so fast um, for an extended amount of time. We've seen bleed outs like this following single liquidations. The last, I mean like the one right after the ETF was, uh, the one right after the ETF was accepted, the FTX liquidation, we saw something like this. And I believe we're maybe seeing the Genesis liquidation right now. Maybe there's something else in the, up there, but it is Grayscale selling out. And it is like a massive, massive jump in terms of like Grayscale selling compared to the last two weeks. So I'm guessing it's Genesis or something like that. I mean, we kind of like suspected Genesis sold some earlier. But we don't really know when Genesis is going to sell because after Genesis announced, there wasn't this like major sell off. So maybe they saved until now, right now to sell because they're, they're looking at like Bitcoin prices are high. We need to pay debts. Let's sell it right now. We're 13K above when the ETF got accepted. It's a very good time to cash in. I'm guessing that's what happened, but you know, it could definitely be something else. And obviously the leverage made it doubly bad when we sold down. But you know, as I said yesterday, maybe 60,000 would actually be the bottom. I'm still sticking with that. Don't think we're gonna go lower. You know, some of the Fibonacci levels think, some of the people that are reading the TA charts think uh, actually think we're going to like 50K or lower. I don't think we'll get close to 50K. At most like 58K maybe, I think. But that's about it at this point. Because I think Grayscale sales will lose steam. And if those sales lose steam, there's nothing else really pushing it down that far because the giant catalyst for the last two days has been Grayscale actually selling. And Grayscale, like if you look at the outflows on Grayscale, they've been up for a while, but especially yesterday and today. And um, yeah, if it is Genesis, they're pretty much through with like 70, 80% of what they want to dump. The other 20% could come tomorrow, which is why I think it will flow maybe like one or $2,000 lower from where it is right now. But uh, after that, I think they're pretty, pretty much going to be done. I mean, like if I were um, Genesis and I wasn't desperate and I wanted to sell, I would sell slower than I have been right now. But you know, like if they're really desperate for money, they would actually liquidate right now. But between yesterday and today, looking at the net liquidations, they've 
pretty much sold most of the bag. So I don't expect a drop of another $10,000. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.